Um, hi, I'm I'm got two purposes in calling. Uh, first purpose yeah. is um, I'm just wondering what's up with the CZ sites. Okay. <laughs> Let me get you the latest update. I know that they've been on the like, like delay after delay. After uh huh. Delay. currently on back order. So, well, well, of course they're on back order. Pre-orders haven't shipped. Yeah, yeah the pre-orders haven't even shipped. Um, yeah. So, right now, we have a set date of getting these out before the end of this month. We all, we're all also going to be sending along some complimentary add-on items mm -hmm. for the inconvenience on uh, you know, all the setbacks. Okay, well, wanna... my second reason in calling is I want to cancel my order. So, as you just saw, I canceled my night vision order. So, there's two main reasons why I did this. Reason number one is the company itself. Um, just the lack of communication that we're getting from this company has been insane. Been trying to give you guys a lot of updates. As you notice, you've not gotten anything from me on this in like a month, maybe. I just stopped calling, uh, trying to give them the opportunity to kind of explain what was going on and you know, I called once, asked them what their lead time was. They said it's going to be about two weeks, just kind of their normal spiel. So at that point, I told them, you guys really need to get an email out on this. Let people know what's going on. So as a couple more weeks went by and we didn't hear anything, I figured, you know what? If I can find something that works, then I am just, I'm going to stop. I'm going to cancel my order. That's 50 bucks that I don't need to be spending. The second reason is this right here. My new site's on my PO1. So guys, this is my PO1. It is my carry PO1. And as you see, we just got done doing the sights on it. And I will tell you what, I've come to what I feel is one of the best defensive sight setups that you can get on a CZ-75. Here's the setup. So we maintained our SPO1 tactical front sight here. Now the SPO1 tactical, the uh, pre-threaded barrel version, the one that doesn't have like the high sights, is actually a big dot setup. It's the same blade width as a standard 75, but where the 75's got kind of that tiny little dot, the tactical dot is nice and big. It takes up the majority of that front blade, which is really a nice setup. Um, you don't want to take up a whole bunch of real estate up here. In my case, in my preference, I just like that big dot for really quick front sight acquisition. Now the rear sight is a single dot sight from CZ Custom. This is more or less a blacked out rear sight with a single tritium vial in the bottom. It's not highlighted by a dot or anything. It's just that single tritium vial. So it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to line things up. You don't muddy up your sight picture with the three dot sights because uh, honestly, three dot sights are not optimal for shooting. What this gives you is a really, really good sight picture with a big, nice white dot up front and a more or less blacked out rear. So, I am not changing a thing on this. Um, honestly, when it comes to the sights on this thing, I would suggest this exact setup if you're looking for a defensive pistol sight that has night sight capabilities, because this does, you line one tritium vial up on top of the other tritium vial, and that gives you your night sights, and I don't have to be concerned with breaking a fiber optic rod on these. I got these out to the range, and I tell you, these things shoot like a freaking dream. Um, the sight picture, I was a little concerned at first about just how much air I was going to get on either side of the blade when looking through the rear notch. But it, it happens to be just enough. So there's, for me anyway, there's kind of a sweet point in there when it comes to sights. Between too much and too little air for the equal light. So take TFX Pros, which you guys know I don't like. For me, that's too little light on either side. Now, take the Dawson sights on my SP-01. For me, that's almost too much light on either side. It gets a little bit more difficult to line that front blade up. This happens to be a really, really nice amount of light on either side of that front blade, giving you a really quick, nice sight picture, dropping that dot down into the notch, getting your equal light, equal height set up, and pulling a nice, smooth trigger pull. So, because of that, because I have identified what I believe is an excellent sight option for this, I have canceled my night vision order. Um, I was always concerned a little bit about that night vision front sight being a little too wide for the notch on this particular rear sight. And now looking at this setup, 
I think that it would be. I'm not sure how much wider than this that front side is, but I'm pretty sure it's wider. And so I think that the setup that we have here is pretty darn good. Now, this front sight is difficult to find. You can't get it from CZ Custom or Cajun Gunworks. It's gotta come from CZ, but you can get it. Um, unfortunately, I can't post links in the description. Because of YouTube's regulations now, any link in the description that leads directly to a site that sells firearms will get me a strike. And I can't afford to have a strike. I don't have anybody on my side. I'm a tiny channel. So you guys are going to have to search for that yourselves. This guy here is on the CZ Custom website, and there are two different versions. One for the low sights and one for the high sights. This one is the one for the low sights. It will say specifically on there that it is set up to work with stock CZ front sights. So that's the one of those that you want. And guys, honestly, I think this is an awesome setup. It is pretty much exactly what I wanted in sights. Um, I did want a slightly off color front. I tend to like the more like neonish colors, like the yellows and the oranges of the Trigicon HDs. But for having a gun that doesn't have the opportunity to have Trigicon HDs, I think this is about as good as we're gonna get. And honestly, it is more than serviceable. So that's it for this time, guys. Our update on our PO1 and our site situation, as well as the update on the night vision sites. So if you found the video useful, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. I do want to tell you guys that I've got a ton of awesome stuff coming in the pipeline. We're talking sights, new guns, triggers, and barrels all coming up soon. So if you're looking forward to any of those, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Remember, I appreciate every one of you. And until next time, do your research, get informed, and get to work.